الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم اما بعد اللهم اني اعوذ بك ان اشرك بك وانا اعلم واستغفرك لما اعلم continuing our study of aqidah al-raziyin the imam said ibn abi hatim rahmatullahi alayhi he said and allah the exalted and most high will be seen in the hereafter and the inhabitants of paradise will see him with their eyes and they will hear his speech however he wishes and just as he wishes so here ibn abi hatim he's talking about yawm al-qiyamah in the hereafter and talking about the inhabitants of paradise and that the mu'mineen ahl sunnah believes that the mu'mineen will see their lord subhanahu wa ta'ala on the day of judgment and this is from the ni'am of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the ni'ma the the, the the blessings the great reward for their being obedient to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and worshiping him and him alone in this dunya And then he said, and paradise is true and the fire is true. And they are both already created. And they will never come to an end. So paradise is a reward for his beloved and obedient servants. And the fire is a punishment for those who are disobedient to him. Except for those whom Allah the mighty and majestic has mercy upon. So Ahl Sunnah believes in the Shafa'a that as long as a person is from Ahl Tawheed, that they are Muslim and they die upon Islam, that even if they are punished for some of their sins in the hellfire, for the major sins, and Allah doesn't cheat, yeah, doesn't pardon them, then eventually they will be pardoned and taken out of the fire and enter Jannah. So this is the reward of being a mu'min, of being a believer in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that although you may commit sins, and all and we all commit sins, as the Prophet sallallahu said, Kullu ibn Adam khata wa khayna khata'in tawabun, that all the children of Adam make sins, and the best of those sinners is those who repent. So we all make mistakes. However, if we die upon Islam, at least if we go to the fire, وَعِيَادٍ بِاللَّهِ مِنْ نَارٍ May Allah protect us from the fire that will be taken out of the fire if we die upon Islam. And then he said, and the Sirat is true. And the balance, the Sirat meaning the bridge over the hellfire, it's true. And the balance, the mezan, the scale, which has two balance plates upon which the deeds of the servants will be weighed, the good and the bad, is true. So Ahl Sunnah, these are all points of Aqidah that Ahl Sunnah believes in, that all are substantiated either through the Quran and or either through the authentic Sunnah of the Prophet Wasallam or both. And the vast reservoir, the hod, which our Prophet Wasallam has been honored with is true. And the intercession, shifa'a, is true. And that some people from the people of Tawheed will come out from the fire through intercession is true. And the punishment of the grave is true. And munkar and nakir are true. And the noble angels who write down deeds are true. So all of these things, these are this is the unseen. We, we haven't seen these things. We don't know anybody who's come back to tell us about these things. But rather we believe in them, we believe in the ghayb. And this is the sifat of the mu'mineen. As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Surah Al-Baqarah, بَعَدَ أَعُوذُ بِاللَّهِ مِنَ الشَّيْطَانِ الرَّحِيمِ بِسْمِ اللَّهِ الرَّحْمَنِ الرَّحِيمِ أَلِفْ لَامِيمِ ذَلِكَ الْكِتَابَ لَا رَيْبَ فِي هُدٍ لِلْمُتَّقِينَ الَّذِينَ يُؤْمِنُونَ بِالْغَيْبِ وَيُقِمُونَ الصَّلَاةِ وَمِمَّا رَزَقْنَاهُمْ يُنْفِقُونَ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says after Alif Lam Mim ذَلِكَ الْكِتَابَ لَا رَيْبَ فِي This is, the, that is the book in which there is in no doubt. There's no doubt about the Qur'an. Hudin lil muttaqeen. It's a guidance for the believers or, or for the pious. Alladheena yu'minuna bil ghayb. Who are these muttaqeen? Those who believe in the ghayb. Those who believe in the unseen. All of these things are a part of the unseen and we believe in them. An authentic hadith about uh, Adab al Qabr, the Prophet Murra Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam ala qabrain. The Prophet walked by two graves. Faqal. 
انهم لا يعذبان وما يعذبان في كبير اما اهله ما فكان لا يستر من البو اما اخر فكان يمشي بالنميمه the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam was walking by two graves and he said verily he pointed to the graves he said verily they are being punished and they're not being punished for something which is the people think is great as for one of them they didn't make istinja properly or they didn't clean themselves their private parts uh, or their garments when they used the restroom and the other was guilty of namima of spreading tales amongst the community in order to spread wickedness the point of mention in that hadith of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam is the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam affirmed for us in this authentic hadith that the punishment of the grave is real and there are many other ahadith which detail the punishment of the grave and what will happen in the grave and and the people whose salat will come to them and and, and the people the the people who receive the naim of the cover the 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 the, 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 the naim of the cover the 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 comfort of the cover uh, of the grave and those who will receive the punishment of the grave wa iyadan billah may allah protect us from uh, the the adab al qabr and with that as we said we'll go through this treaties very quickly just to get a, a, a taste of of the books of the salaf of this umma and some of the things we'll highlight in detail and some of the things we'll just go through the main nusul so the, uh, the the text itself and we ask Allah the almighty to forgive us of our many shortcomings wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam